so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to show you how you can create your own quick time event bar in guru so right now you can see i have a very simple event bar so if i press enter you can see the enemy gets hurt and so that's what we are going to do right so how we can just uh, create this timer bar which is very similar to undertale style uh, and how we can just implement this thing right so let me show you how i implemented this in guru so let me create uh let me just let me disable this so first of all i will add a node to d here and let's make it as quick time event bar right and now we need a few things first we need sprite 2d so we need two sprite 2d one for the background that you want to add and one for the the pointer and now let me just put this here so it not mess with us okay um now here you can see background and pointer now we need two four marker 2d so let me add four marker 2d's and this marker 2d will be the position one this will be the or maybe we can just make it start we can add it as end and we can add this as safe start position and we can as uh, safe end position okay so you can just make it however you like and i have the assets right now so let's uh, let's uh, include the assets so for the background i'm just going to use this let me go here so for the background i'm going to use this pg dot png and let me just transform this and scale it two times and after that we will just add this like here and now what we are going to do is we are going to use the pointer here so let me implement the pointer here and we are also going to scale it two times here and now what we are going to set is make sure this start marker should be start at the bg or the background of your timer node and the end will be this right and now you need to use this safe start position to define the safe zone so right now my safe zone is this middle green square so i'm going to set this as the safe start position and the safe end position should be equals to this right so this is the safe zone and this is the start and end position for the marker so it will not go beyond these positions right now we need to back to code so let me add a script so we have to create a script which is quick time event bar dot gd and now we need to implement or import all these things into our code so we can directly do that one by one by just or maybe we can directly just do it like this okay simple now what we need to do is first we need to create a function which is called as process delta this is very important function and um, so first of all we need to we want to make our pointer move from the start position to the end position okay so now let's go here so we will use if pointer let me just do it out for you so if pointer dot position dot x is less than or equals to the start dot position dot x then we will set the pointer to okay so we need to create a new variable to set the direction here so right now i'm setting the direction equals to one which is the uh let's say this is the this is for the right position or the right direction so we can just set the direction to one and now a lip pointer dot position 
dot x is greater than or equals to the end of the position dot x it will move backwards so we can just set this here also by the way you can see here that this is the direction and now if we set the pointer dot position dot x plus equals to direction so it will move towards the direction and the direction will be set by checking the coordinates of the start and end markers that we have added here and so if I run the scene you can see our pointer is moving from left to right okay or start to end so now we need to implement the key pressed event so for that I am going to add a if statement for the if input dot is accept pressed and I am going to use the enter key as the accept okay so now what we need to do is we need to add another if statement to check if our pointer is inside this heart and we are pressing the key at the right time so we are just going to do this if input dot is action press ui accept we need to just simply do uh, one thing which is if pointer dot position dot x is again we need to do the same uh, is greater than or equals to the safe start position so if it is greater than that means if we, this is the safe start position so if it is if the pointer is greater than safe start position and less than the end safe end position and we are pressing the key at the right time it will hurt the enemy so that's what we are going to do so we can just set this to position dot x and we need to just use the same code just and now if the pointer dot position dot x is less than the end star oh sorry not end it should be safe end position dot x okay let me just make it smaller dot x then what we need to do is okay you can see okay so if the pointer dot position dot x is greater than or equals to safe start dot position dot x and pointer dot position dot x is less than equals to safe and position dot x what we need to do is we need to hurt the enemy so we need to get the enemy here so right now I have a enemy in my scene so I'm going to use this so enemy dot hurt so now let's check by running the scene so right now if I press it at the right time you can see the enemy got, gets hurt but the HP is not getting lower so for that let's go to our enemy scene and as you can see I have a hurt function that I am calling and it is playing our animation which is hurt animation so we also need to make the HP to go by let's say 10 or maybe 20 so if we go here can see so if I do this we can see okay so this maybe um, HP should not go by 20 um, I think there is a problem here maybe um, uh, oh I finally found the problem here so if you go on to quick time event bar you just need to set this to just pressed and if I run the scene you can see now it's going 10 every time I am pressing the hit heart animation so if you like this video please subscribe and if you want more uh, tutorial like this please do subscribe to the channel right now and also join my discord server for future video and events that I am hosting on discord so thanks for watching